Taking the time to install new plants properly is the first step we can take in ensuring the long-term health of our plants. Now I want to start, before I plant, I want to start with my hole. That's the first step. Before I take my plants out of their pots, I don't want to expose them to the dry air too long. So I'm going to prepare the hole first. And what I'm going to plant right now is this Rose of Sharon. So I want to dig a hole that's two to three times the width of this pot, but only as deep. And we'll get that started. And the reason we want a really wide hole is to give our plant a wide space to spread its roots out. Most of the roots grow laterally or sideways out from the plant rather than straight down. So this will give a nice wide area. Um, the soil in that rooting zone will be loosened from the planting process. It'll give our plant a nice start. Now when we think about the depth, what I first do is look at the plant and sometimes I'll slide it out of the container to see if the roots go all the way to the bottom. In this case they do, um, but sometimes we have a younger plant and the root system isn't well established. You can see here the roots don't go much farther than about halfway into that container. So if I was planting or digging a hole for this plant, I wouldn't dig the hole as deep as that container. I would only dig it as deep as this root ball. So I'm going to set my plant in here just to see if I've gotten the hole deep enough and it looks about right. Before the, we plant this, let's talk about preparing the plants for planting. Sometimes when we receive plants, they come with a stake and this stake is used to support the plant and protect it during transportation and shipping. Now some of our plants, especially trees and shrubs, we might stake after we plant them to provide some extra support. But this is not the stake we use for that. When we have a plant that comes with a stake, we want to remove any ties. If there's wires or strings, we want to remove that and then take that stake out and we're going to plant it without that. If we need to support the plant, we do that separately. Some plants come in a peat container and especially we see a lot of vegetables come this way and peat containers are decomposable. We can actually plant right in these, but they decompose slowly. And I don't always trust that they'll decompose quick enough. So one thing I like to do is cut the bottoms or tear the bottom off of these plants so that the roots can get out and escape. The other thing we want to be sure of is when we put the plant in the ground, that the top of the peat pot is not exposed because this will act like a wick. To prevent this wicking, I tear away the top of the peat pot. That way when I put the pot and the plant in the ground, that peat is going to be below the surrounding soil level and it'll prevent water from escaping up through the peat. Now when we're removing plants from the container, we don't just want to grab and pull the plant out, especially if it has some tender material, we could really do some damage. Instead, we want to tip and squeeze the sides of the pot and shake the plant loose and out of the container. That way we won't damage uh, the growing areas of the plant. Now I noticed before when I pulled this Rosa Sharon out, it's fairly root bound. You can see how the roots are, roots are wrapping around the soil ball. If I were to just put that in the ground and plant it how it is, there's a good chance that those roots are just going to continue to grow in a circle around the plant. And what happens is eventually, as they grow and thicken, they choke one another out. And that's called girdling and can lead to death of the plant. So what we want to do is actually break up this root ball. And this is something that um, a lot of people are kind of hesitant to do or do it very gingerly. And I prefer to just get in there and pull the roots out. We're really doing much better by spreading these roots out than by letting them continue to wrap. We're going to give this plant a much better chance. And you can do this with your hands. You can also use a sharp tool to kind of tease them out or a knife. Sometimes these are very hard and what I end up doing is just cutting that root uh, ball into four sections and spreading the sections out into a little let me try to get one open. Just kind of butterflying the root ball. Let's see if we could cut this one open and give an example of that. So 
So I'm being a little rough, but in the long run, this is gonna be much better for the plant. So you see how we kind of butterfly the roots sideways? And then when we put it in the hole, we're gonna extend those root sections out to the edges of the hole. Now I've ended up a little bit deeper because I did that butterflying. So I'm gonna find a nice hard clod of soil to get in the middle, step that down and, and raise the soil level up. Okay, once you've spread the roots out towards the sides of the hole, we can go ahead and backfill with the same soil that we removed from the planting hole. If it's a little hard, you might wanna break it up or mix some organic matter, some compost in to your soil. That'll help loosen it up and improve the drainage of your soil. We wanna press gently as we backfill, but not too hard. You don't wanna compact the soil around the roots. As with any plant, we always want to give it some water. Give it a nice drink to settle it into its hole. And you wanna to continue to water until you see it kind of puddling up around the surface. It's gonna seep into the soil and spread out. We're not gonna drown our plant. But we wanna give it plenty of water to get it off to a good start. A lot of times plants get a little bit of shock because their roots have been disturbed. And this way there's plenty of water available to the plant. And then the last thing we're gonna do is give some mulch around our plant. Oops. Mulch is gonna help keep that moisture in the soil. And it also helps to prevent weeds from coming up around our plant. We wanna spread that mulch out. Uh, we want a good two or three inch layer. We wanna pull it away from the woody stems so just to uh, allow some good airflow up against the plant. Remember that taking time during the planting stage is gonna go a long way to ensuring long-term health in the landscape. <laughs>